Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Luke, man. Hope you guys are staying safe. We're actually recording this video at a time when our world is going through coronavirus. Hope you guys are staying safe and you're washing your hand and make sure you have your sanitizers with which you are cleaning your hand all the time. Anyway, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can actually add the FAQ code to your funnel inside of ClickFunnels. Yes, you heard me right because listen, FAQ, otherwise known as frequently asked questions, tend to increase your conversion by over 30% and a lot of people actually have trouble adding these to their ClickFunnels accounts and when they do, they just add like the section and just the FAQ. But this time around, I wanna show you how you can actually use code to achieve this such that it looks very pretty and does not take up a lot of space on your funnel. So if you're ready, let me show you what I'm talking about. So how can you achieve stuff like this on your funnel? Listen, I have frequently asked question over here, right? So people click on this, it shows them the answer. Go back, question number two, show them the answer. Question number three, show them the answer. So what I wanna do for you guys right now is to actually show you how to achieve this on your ClickFunnels account because naturally you cannot just throw this up on ClickFunnels. You've got to use a simple code which I found thanks to the guy that shared the code and I will tell you how you can get this code at the end of this video. All right, so uh, let me pull over a particular funnel that I wanna use for this right here. We're gonna use this funnel right here to achieve this because I really do wanna show you guys from the scratch how I do this and how you can do it too. So I'm gonna pretend that I'm just building this page right here. I'm gonna go over to the edit edit your page, I believe that is called, all right? And over here, one of the things I wanna do actually is to add something over here, because you can just basically go down to the bottom of the page, add that section, but what I wanna do to start with is go over here, add, I'm gonna call this FAQ, right? And you know, I'll actually, I'll, I'm gonna make this like a, yeah, call it FAQ. I'm gonna call this FAQ. All right, so we're gonna zoom. This is your site, and you have uh, the FAQ page right there. I mean, FAQ button right there. Uh, let's actually do this. Let's let's make it stand out a little bit. We're gonna go to the background. You know, you guys, I'm not a designer. I'm just a marketer. But you guys understand the gist, right? Okay, so let's. Um, we're gonna call it. I don't know which one. To, okay, so we're just gonna call it FAQ. Okay, we're gonna save that. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is to come all the way down. To, I mean, your FAQ basically will be in the bottom of your page, I would think, right? So what you want to do is to go ahead and add another. I'm going to send this up somewhere. I'm going to add another row right here. Hope you guys are following me. It depends on how many questions you have. You can use, you know, the two columns. You can use the three columns. It does not matter. So in this case, I'm going to use just the one column. And when I do this, I'm going to go ahead and add... A heading element okay well by the way I'm gonna give this a name let's 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 call this we're gonna call this frequently asked questions all right actually you know what I will do yeah let's add this right here we're gonna call this one frequently asked questions if you guys are with me do not go I'm gonna show you how you can get these at the end of this video. All right, so that'll be our frequently asked questions. Now, how do we achieve this, okay? So remember that new uh, row that we add, and of course we have this right here. Let me take this out and start this all over again. Okay, so we're gonna add this element called heading, and that will be where your question will be. It depends on what you want to use. It can just be paragraph. It can be whatever. It depends on how big you want it to be. In my own case, I'm just going to call this one question. You know, call it, call it question number one or whatever you want to call it, right? And I'm going to add another one that's going to be the answer to the question. This time around, it's not going to be as big as that one. I'm going to call this one answer. Let's call this our answer right here. All right, so another thing we're going to do, I'm going to send my question to the right side and my answer will probably just be in the middle. All right, so before we go, because, you know, now remember we're going to have more than one question. 
But just to save you time, I don't want you to keep adding these uh, elements over and over again. I just want to finish designing this and I'm go just going to, you know, um, I'm just going to uh, clone it, right? So in this case, what I will do now is go over to the get CSS. Let me move this up. Get CSS info of this one. I'm going to call this FAQ slash accord or dash accord and dash answer dash question sorry that will be for the question part right i'm going to update and i'll come to the answer part i'll call that one come over to get css info i'm going to call this one answer dash accord dash um sorry this would be faq dash accord dash answer all right and i'm going to update that as well so to make this kind of stand out you know this entire row right here to make it stand out what i want to do first to start with is i'm going to go ahead and give this a border of its own so it's going to be kind of distinct from the other the uh, other part of the page and as a matter of fact you can give it you know a background it depends on what you want right give the background just a little background if you if that's what you want Otherwise, you can just leave it the way it is. And you can also distinguish the question from the answer by giving it its own background. So this one, let's say our question will be black, right? And the uh, let's give it a little border over here. Let's go back to the question. All right, we're going to give the border. Do we have a border over here? Uh, let's say we call it okay so let's give it a full border right actually you know this one already has a border don't do that just just go over here I'm gonna give this a background of what should we do give it a white background there you go cool and I'm gonna give the answer and again you can use any color you want and you can you know just follow you can add any uh, pattern you want to it so the answer part of it I'm gonna go over here I'm going to give it answer. Should our answer just be, let's make this, uh, the background of the answer. Let's make that, just go crazy with it. <laughs> That's crazy. That's not pretty, but that, you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? We're going to make it, no. That's not good. Let's make it white, but this kind of white, no. Ah, uh, that's not going to work. Okay. Let's make that the answer, right? And you can move this closer to one another if you want to. It depends on how you want to design it. You know what, though? What I can actually do is this. Let us do this, yeah? We're going to say... No, we don't want that padding. That's too big. Zero padding. Okay. You guys get the gist right so over here we can actually have we can have an icon for that one what should we use here i'm not doing this live i could have asked you guys to suggest but let's find something let's say maybe this would be a question let's 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 give it the, okay cool cool so that'll be our question and this will be the answer right here the answer let's give it uh that's the background the text is uh black and you can change the text to whatever you want okay and we're gonna also gonna give that one another we're gonna give it um a bother no we're gonna give it an icon so let's make that this will be the answer right okay and you can send it you know to whatever you want and i'm going to uh make this entire Make this look a little bit more. Okay, let's. Uh, okay, that's our border. We give it a dash. So that way, you know, it stands out as your question and answer. Okay. And, um, you know, you can just give it that. It depends on what you want. All right. So, uh, shadow. Okay, I want to do that for the question and answer part, right? So now, since you've done that, remember guys, we added the uh, row 
then we added the question and the answer element. And for the question, the, the question we use heading, and for the answer we use, uh, um, where is that? This is the he heading and we use subheading, right? So for the question, we get the CSS info and we call it FAQ-accord-question, right? And this other one, we call it FAQ dash accord dash answer we're gonna do that save it come over here to your setting go to tracking code you're gonna dump it right dump this code right here now save it now that you've done that what i will do just in case you have more than one question i'm just gonna you know clone this and i'll move the question one to the bottom Sorry, I moved that to the bottom of the first answer, right? Cool. So we have question one. This will be our question number two. And it's too close to that one. I don't like it. Guys, I'm not a designer, so I'm a marketer. I have other people that design my funnel <laughs> in, on my team. So, But I just want to show you guys this. So I'm going to clone this as well. I'm going to move this to the bottom of the... You guys get the gist, right? You can design your question and answer any which way you want. What matters is to ensure you change the CSS info and dump that code right where I showed you. You know, you go to setting, uh, tracking code, the footer, drop that code right there and save it. Another thing that I will do, remember that we have this FAQ thing that we added over here just to make it, just when people click on it, they want to go to the, they want to go to, um, this role right here so what i'll do is to get the css info of this role i'm going to copy this right here okay i'll come over here i'm going to link this faq right you know what i can actually do yeah i can link it so when someone clicks on it you can either link that or you actually make that a button right Let's save it. Now we're going to preview. So when someone clicks on this, it takes them to the question and answer below, right? So when this would be, this is how it's going to be. Let's say you have 10, 20, whatever kind of question. And I could have added, you know, the two columns, but I just used one. So when they open this up, question number one, they open it up. The answer will be right there. Close it. Question number two, the answer will be right there. Guys, this will quadruple your conversion on your funnel and listen if you do not have an faq part of your funnel people come onto your funnel they have questions who they're going to ask when you go to a store right you have something that is not clear to you you can always walk up to the guy at the counter and ask him that question right if you buy something online you don't have a, or you want to talk to at t or whatever your service provider is what do you do you pick up the phone you ask them that question and of course they answer your question so when someone comes to your website or your funnel Besides the fact that you're going to have your phone number over there, you don't want them to keep calling you all the time, right? And you just do not want to take up a lot of place, a lot of space over here by just listing question, answer, question, answer, right? What you can do is to just go ahead and do what I just showed you. Have these uh, little thing that says FAQ right here. They click on it. They take them to the question. Which question do you have? You would have put the question right here. Otherwise, you know, you would have done your research to know what kind of questions people always ask. That's why it's called frequently asked questions. And of course, you can make this look a little bit uh, uh, more dignified such that people can see it's the frequently asked question box. So when they click on this, it takes them to the first answer, right? Click on this, it takes them to the first, to the second answer. And I can really go crazy with this because I can actually link this to the page of the product on my funnel. So I can get the CSS info of the, uh, of the, uh, the part where the question, the, the product that has to do with the question is, and I'll just link it to it. So when you click on it, it takes them over back to that uh, part of the funnel. Hey, let me ask you this. Do you want that code or the entire funnel as the case may be? Of course, I know you want it. Why won't you want it? It's going to increase your conversion by over 30%. Number one thing you have to do to get this code is this. Hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. And number two is... Hit that like button and subscribe to this channel because I know you've not done it. Really, if you want the code, what I want you to do is this. Besides, you know, hitting the button and subscribe to the channel because if you, when you subscribe to this channel, you're always going to be notified when I drop 
valuable gold like these on my channel another thing i want you to do is to click on the link below this video go get a free copy of the newest book that russell Brunson just released it's called traffic secret listen if you the one of the people that this code that i'm about to share with you is meant for you've got to be concerned with about secret i mean sorry you've got to be concerned with traffic if you're not getting any traffic then you now you're not getting people to your funnel and there is no one that's asking you question and you don't need this code so what i want you to do is to click on the link below this video go get a free copy of traffic secret by russell bronson is free it shares with you the traffic the, the traffic secret that he used to build click funnels to over 350 million dollars company in less than three years and once you do that just send me a receipt of your purchase and i'm going to send you this code and besides that i'm also going to invite you to my private facebook group where we discuss unlimited funnel traffic and conversion all day and if you're already part of my group all you've got to do is just click on the link below go get your own copy of the traffic secret by russell bronson and if you're part of the group already and you already got it just give me a shot say look man i have it and i really want to see that you have it maybe send me a picture or the receipt of your purchase something and i'm going to send you this code together with the entire phone if that's what you want otherwise stay safe keep putting that on your hand clean it avoid coronavirus and continue to increase your conversion adios